Okay, so now we're recording, guys. Woohoo! First, let's play on Castlevania. <sighs> Screw the opening. You wanted the Screw opening, the go opening. find it somewhere else. Well, that sounds nice. Okay, so, uh, game start. Copy the beat. Ooh! <clears throat> and, now we start the timer. Okay. So, we've started the timer, Sean. We have ten oh. minutes to do this. Uh, let's see. I think I'll go choose easy, because I haven't played this game. Uh, Cornell only. But I wanted to play Reinhardt or Carrie or that creepy guy over there in the armor. Look at him! Look at him! I heard he's the one that uses the revolver. So we'll just play as Cornell then. Won't that be fun, guys? The Necronomicon. The Time for the silent charge. <sighs> Creepy corridor walkthrough. Uh, I keep turning up and trying to see if I can see any further if I go higher on my screen. Did it work? No. <laughs> Did it work? Josh, get closer. That way your voice comes in clear. Sean's voice is all... Super clear, anyways. I'm speaking. Normally. Get a golden like a skull, a golden armor with golden swords. Josh, I saw a cattle bog, and there's Sean's giant axe. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention for a second. What did I miss? You missed a giant axe, a bunch of golden armor, and uh, some character walking by. Ooh, door! Go to door. I have no shadow gate. <laughs> I can't do a single thing here. All we're doing is staring and watching them move. Oh well, uh. Right, to the left. That does. Le right. That looks nothing like my character. Yeah. To the left. No, to I'm right. some Peasley white haired kid. Turn left. Tur that turns into a white haired werewolf. That's somehow in Castlevania, Castlevania Judgment they give armor to. So, oh, by the way, this is a complete blind playthrough. Death has crow wings. Funky little sight. So we are going to get lost. A lot. Woman, whatever her name is. Death has some funky hands, doesn't he, Josh? I already know how funky his hands are. Oh dear. Oh no, Death cut a kid's head off. I thought we weren't allowed to watch. Uh, we weren't allowed to show death for like, of kids. Yeah, Dracula just came out of his tomb, and oh, his hands on fire! His hand is on fire. Dramatic <laughs> reach. Oh, uh, you may not be able to see this, but oh, village on fire. That's always good. Josh is trying to figure out how to do a Minecraft server. You'd be helping me with this. Burned corpse. Buy one. Buy one. Ooh, skeletons. Legs. <laughs> yes, he's smart. <laughs> I'm on fire. Oh, good. Run. Punch. Roundhouse kick. He's the brother of Chuck Norris's son. He just beat that guy like ura, 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 into the air. Sean, no, not Sean. Josh, you know that I'm. We're doing something very official over here. You're trying to listen. So talking in the background is what it's gonna sound like for me. So yeah. people watch this video, and that means that they most likely just heard him speaking as Yeah, but right now he's watching a YouTube video on how to make a server when I ask for his help on this video. Sean, it's a talking scene. This man beast warrior obtained a physical body of near immortality and a power that surpasses that of a wild beast. The man beasts, choosing to live harmoniously with humans, 
sealed away their enormous magical powers to prevent them from being used. However, through severe ascetic training, Cornell acquired the art for releasing the sealed man wolf power. After a year of traveling and ascetic training, Cornell rushed back to his village, only to find that evil spirits had set the village on fire, engulfing the village in a lotus flower of flames. His only living blood relative, his sister Ada, was carried away by the evil spirits. Now, he must save her. Cornell uses the man wolf's acute sense of smell to track the scent of his sister's blood. Reinhard Schneider, Carrie Fernandez. We go back eight years in time, before the period in which these two young warriors risked their lives battling against the devil. Now, the truth that has been shrouded in the gloom of darkness will be revealed. That was an opening, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait, I think there's going to be more talking. No, there's a giant boat, and no words have been said. I just heard that someone had a sister called Eve. Eat him. It's Ada. So he ate her? <laughs> Sean, bad joke, bad time. Perfect timing. Bad joke, bad time, Sean. I don't know how many times I'm going to die through this run through. I call 15 deaths in the first episode. First 15 deaths? We only have three minutes left to do this. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so, uh. So it's, uh, left on the C stick to uh, attack, battle view, action view. I can slide with Z, and then, uh, duck and scream me around. I hope Pizza's here, huh? I think we can cut this short then. Okay, Sean, we'll cut this short. Pizza's here. Why? Because pizza's oh. here. Dinner time. Oh. So, uh, we'll meet you on episode two. Right, Sean? Uh -oh.